Hello, and welcome to a new video of mine. Today, I am going to show you how you can get an on-screen cursor that is interactable, or like an on-screen trackpad, or that is actually going to give you a cursor on the screen, and you can click on stuff, you can right-click, you can scroll using it, and many more stuff. Here's how. Without any further ado, let's get started. So all you have to do on your Android device or any other Android you have is basically go to settings. Um, it may not work for all Android devices, by the way, but hopefully this will actually work for you. Maybe it may work for your Samsung device, I'm not sure. But moving that out of the way, let's just get started. So first of all, you basically go to your settings and select accessibility. Now choose dexterity and interaction. And then choose assistant menu. Over here, you can turn assistant on menu on or off. For now, we'll just turn it on. There's the little thing over there. And now we want to go to touchpad and cursor settings by the way you can basically just tap on this assistant menu over here and you can choose cursor over here well let's say you want to customize it over here let's say so basically all you have to do is just go to touchpad and cursor settings over here you can change the size of the cursor basically to use it you basically can Use this little thing to move the thing around. You can use the up and down buttons for scrolling um, vertically and left and right for scrolling horizontally. You can also tap on the little magnifying glass over here to add, make it a little more accessible. The cursor now turns into a zooming thing. So basically there's this blue dot over here that you can move around using the little trackpad and there's a little zoomy thing and then you can use it as the little magnifier window and if we tap the icon again you can switch back to cursor mode so you can change the size of the touchpad to large it does take a little more of the screen if you want to um, swipe with two fingers oh no you can use gestures on this um but for now, I'm just going to use small over here. Yeah, that's much better. Now we also have cursor size over here. You can use this to change the size of the cursor. So you can make it large, so the cursor is easier to see. But for now, we're just going to use medium. We can also change the speed of the cursor. For slow, the cursor doesn't move as fast as intended. Um, and now if we choose fast, then it moves a little faster. I like it with fast. I'm going to keep it this way. And I mean, it's just a very cool feature to use. Now you can basically use this um, as if you have connected to the, uh, the, a mouse to your um, device and you can use it as a computer now. By the way, it may not work for your Android phone, but it's way more recommended for your Android tablet over here. Um, if you have any questions on how to get this on your other Android device, if it's not a Samsung tablet or any other tablets, please be sure to put it down in the comments over here so I can give you some explanations. But anyway, I think that concludes this little episode over here. This on getting on getting the touchpad to work on your Android tablet. And I think we may conclude for now. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, don't forget to share this video if you found anything interesting or something a bit funny. That's all for today, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.